So one of the most frustrating things about the Akai Timberwolf is the filter. When it comes to subtractive synthesis, the filter is really the foundation of sculpting your patch. Obviously the oscillators are pretty important, but for any manipulation beyond this basic sound source, the filter is really helpful. Particularly so when it comes to trying to mimic the timbre or sonic movement of acoustic instrumentation. And the Wolf's filter, aside from not sounding that great to begin with, certainly disappoints in the modulation department. It is a low pass filter with a cutoff knob and control over resonance. But after that point it's rather unconventional as compared to most VCFs I've dealt with. Particularly so in that you can't modulate it with an LFO or an ADSR because those simply aren't present on this synthesizer. Additionally, unlike most synthesizers which have one filter that acts as a master for the entire architecture, the Wolf has an individual filter on each voice. There is, however, a knob labeled Envelope Amount, which seems to be Decay to Filter. And this in conjunction with the knob labeled Decay, which does in fact function the same as the Decay section of an ADSR envelope, will provide you some control over the filter. So here's a little pattern I set up to demonstrate the Timberwolf's filter. The cutoff's all the way open, the resonance is all the way down, there's no envelope and no decay. This is what it sounds like with a sawtooth wave. We'll add a little bit of decay. And now sweep through the filter. Not bad, not great, nothing to write home about. Now let's turn the resonance up to 9 o'clock. Pretty subtle. Noon? starting to notice more of a difference. Still very little smear. Three o'clock. Not that much of an effect and we've lost all the low end. Now all the way open, which is basically 5.30. Crank the volume up. Not terribly noticeable. And now we'll add some envelope. Starting to get there. Especially towards the point where the filter's almost closed. Really robs the volume though. In all honesty though, I don't even completely understand what this envelope amount knob does. It could be decay, it could be attack, it could be both. And here we are with full envelope. Anyway you slice it, it's a pretty distinctive sound that might not be that flexible or useful. However, 
I saw an ad online the other day for the Dodd Envelope Filter 440, which I guess is one of these new remakes of the classic Dodd pedals that have been coming around ever since Harman bought the IP rights. And it was only 70 bucks, so I picked one up. I would have to say, although it isn't as powerful or flexible as the traditional ADSR to VCO setup, it does a bit more than what we've got going on here, and it's got a different flavor. I'd say one that I like a bit better. And in combining the two, you can really dial in some different sounds than you were capable of achieving with the Wolf on its own. So we'll use this same pattern. Now we have to turn the volume down. Filters all the way open with no resonance. No envelope and about 3 o'clock on the decay. And let's engage the envelope filter 440. It's got sort of a bipolar switch. And two knobs, one labeled level and the other range. We'll sweep through the controls with the switch in the up position. Here you start to experience some similar effects as that which we observed with the wolf on its own. And as I'm sure you're noticing, perhaps on account of the fact that this circuit was tuned for guitars, with the switch in the up position, there isn't a whole hell of a lot going on. Kind of like a different flavor of what the wolf does on its own. However, an immediate difference is observed when we put the switch down. Gotta be careful with the volume here. Potentiometer positioning and switch flipping has a profound effect on the gain staging. So there's the range all the way to the right, about 5.30. And now I'll manipulate the level control. Yeah, like I said, it'll come out of nowhere with some hot levels. Maybe a little darker than the wolf on its own?
let's have a listen to the way the Wolf's filter sounds in combination with the 440. Dime the DoD to the right. Dial in a little bit of cutoff on the Wolf. With some resonance. So filter cutoff is at roughly 12 o'clock and the resonance is around 1. First we'll sweep through the level. Three. One thirty. About noon. Ten thirty. Nine. About seven thirty, and now seven. Now I'll rotate the range counterclockwise to about three and sweep back through again. About nine. Noon. And now three. And finally five. Bringing the range up to about 130. And now noon. Range at nine. So essentially what's going on here is you've got two filters in series. And in my opinion, it certainly helps to give a different flavor than that which can be achieved with the Wolf on its own. It's probably not the ideal solution. I would have liked to have picked up one of those Waldorf filters or that Mr. Hyde, I guess it's by Analog Solutions. But I paid $199 for this Timberwolf to begin with, brand new. So to spend two or $300 on a filter seems kind of silly. Even if I only ever use it as a midi brain for live sessions, it's still pulling its own weight. But who knows, if I find the money, I may indeed decide to grab a standalone filter. Seventy bucks on the other hand for this pedal ain't too bad. 
And I also own the dot rubber neck, as you may be aware, and I was really happy with the quality and functionality of that pedal. Thus, I was completely willing to give another dot pedal a try. So far, I'm completely satisfied. Let's run some chords through it. For starters, the filters are all the way open, no resonance, no envelope, no decay. DOD 440 turned off. And it sounds like this. Let's match the waveforms, that might help. They're all squares. Decay at about 1.30. Dodd 440 with both sets of controls at about noon. Switch in the down position. Kick it in. I notice with longer sounds, or maybe it's the number of voices, you get almost this weird vibrato effect. It's kind of cool. And now with the range at 9. And noon. And finally with the range turned all the way clockwise. Now let's introduce the Wolf's filter. Cut off at 12. Range is all the way open. Range at three. And now at noon. And nine. And now completely counterclockwise. Now let's add some resonance from the wolf, beginning at 9. Four forty's range is fully counterclockwise. Now 
now at nine. Noon. And finally, completely clockwise. And again, here's the wolf on its own. pronounced difference. Let's crank up the resonance. And introduce a bit more decay. And a bit of envelope. and reintroduce the 440. The range is all the way clockwise. Three. Noon. Nine. And finally, completely counterclockwise. Let's drive it a little harder. Let's add some howl. So that's the Dodd Envelope Filter 440 with the Akai Timberwolf.